Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, Kelly with Droid Life. And I wanna show you an app today called Aviate. Now, actually it's more than an app, it's a third party launcher. It's actually been available for quite some time as a private alpha, and it switched over to private beta this morning. Some new invites have gone out for people, and it's sort of generating a bunch of buzz in the press again. So we thought we would at least give you guys a look at it since we've had an unlock code for a while and played with it off and on, but wanted to give you guys a full on look. So. Aviate, as far as we know, was created by a couple of ex-Googlers. So if it looks like Google Now, that's sort of why. Also, they're trying to emulate Google Now's sort of predictability and, and that whole idea of your phone should be smart enough that it recommends things for you and does things for you or presents information to you without you having to do much. And it actually does a, a pretty nice job of that. So I should point out, though, that this is not your typical third-party launcher and the founders are completely upfront with that. You can't customize, you know, the icons and wallpapers and widgets act differently and you can't set up a whole bunch of different home pages. You've really got three pages and you know, we'll get into all that in a second. So not your typical third party launcher though. It has a really, really cool idea behind it. So let's just sort of jump in and talk about what we're looking at here. Now, the first thing I should probably show you is if you swipe over here to the left, you actually have this section which has morning work, going somewhere, setting, and then here's sort of a nearby location. I've already selected round table pizza to show you how that works. And then you have an invite down here, share and help invite is because uh, I can actually invite some of you. I know you can't really see that. So, but the main things you wanna look here are your spaces. So your spaces are when you wake up in the morning, your phone should present you with this sort of morning page that offers you things you wanna do first thing in the morning. Work, obviously, is once you're at work, it would sl switch over or you could switch it over to work and then you would have sort of this set home screen placement for work settings. Going somewhere is obviously if you're traveling and then there's a settings page just to get into some other stuff. So let's go ahead and look at morning, which is what should pop up when you first wake up in the morning. Now you've got sort of this giant picture up at the top and you can actually customize that to be whatever you'd like. I've then set a widget for music since I listen to music in the morning. And then down here are sort of my favorite app shortcuts, which are customizable. So if I swipe down though, you'll get into your sort of extended morning view. You can set an alarm. You can actually set it to do not disturb. There's my current weather, my current location. It's pulling from my calendar, some items there. And I've actually set up any do on here since I use any do quite often, you know, to do things like buy beer. So you can set up some widgets in here. Um, there's a section for your morning routine, which you could set up as your favorite apps that you tend to use first thing in the morning. And if you actually hit this plus button, they will recommend apps for you. Now I've actually already gone through those, so I'll show you some more. Uh, but if you want to add to that, what you would do is swipe over here to the right. And this is where you get into what they call collections, which are collections of apps that they've sort of categorized for you. You can see social up there. There's a bunch of work apps. And if we actually tap this down arrow, it'll load up everything they've sort of categorized as being social. So you've got some stuff there. And you can actually rearrange these if you'd like. You could put messaging up there if you actually use the messaging app. When you minimize that, you'll actually see the messaging app there. You've got work, music, going somewhere, news, games. You've got all these different categories in here. And I would imagine you could rearrange these with a long press. Sure enough, long press and drop. And you could rearrange those to be as you want. Uh, if you don't like the way they've collected things, you can actually swipe over one more time. This is your entire app list. And it's alphabetized and you can jump through it using this little scroll bar over here. Um, so what I was saying is if you want to add another app to your morning ritual, let's say I want to use Box. So I could then slide that over, and add it right there into my morning routine. Now I've got apps there. So now I have Box, Eye in the Sky for Weather, and Gmail. Okay, so this is sort of my morning routine. I can do a swipe up there and it'll actually get me back to this sort of main page with that picture, music, and then you know, all of my shortcuts to apps. Now you can rearrange these as well or add to them just like you, uh, just like I showed you on that other widget. So again, swipe down. This is sort of what you're looking at. Now you can actually move some of this stuff around too. You can long press it and move to it. You can even go up here and tap add widget. And if I do add widget, I could then add say an analog clock and it puts it all the way down here at the bottom. So I could then drag that up and uh, I'm gonna hit home then and I should have an analog clock. And that was a terrible choice since the analog clock in Android is white, but you get that. You could add any sort of widget. If you wanna remove it then, you can just long press, tap remove, tap remove, and things go away. Um, if you wanna change this home screen picture to be something else, you can actually long press, tap change, and go into any sort of image program or gallery and actually change that. So you've got that going on. All right, so that is the morning 
space, if you will. So you guys are sort of seeing where we're going here. Now if we swipe over and get to work, similar thing. You've got send email, set up new calendar event. It's obviously pulling in some calendar items there. It even does shortcuts for uh, if you have a location set up to a calendar appointment so you can quickly pull up a map. Some preset work apps and then that's sort of what you're looking at for work. Now you could also add other widgets and things like that to sort of make it more robust. If we swipe over then this way you get into your collections again and then all of your apps. Okay, so if we swipe over one more time, let's go into ghosts going somewhere. So if you do going somewhere, you can quickly pull up traffic, you can navigate home or to your office. There's some sort of traveling style apps. You've got Yelp in there, Fly Delta, since I have those installed. If we swipe up, we sort of get back to this home screen. You can actually hit home and it'll extend that down. But you can see what they're doing here. They're trying to give you options or home screen setups that make your life easier and quicker quicker that's not really a word quicker to get things done and then if we swipe over here you got settings so I've got quick toggles for settings got my battery percentage power saver is off you can toggle that there you could set up more settings apps you can actually change to a light or dark thing which is kind of cool especially if you're using this in the morning um, and then you also have this location setup so nearby locations I believe these just pull in from Google now or I'm sorry Google listings and uh, in here you can take camera, you can post, and you can check into these places. And I believe these are all, again, using um, Google reviews and stuff like that. Um, they found Roundtable's Twitter, so you can tweet at Roundtable if you like. It also pulls up Foursquare, Yelp, Zagat, in case you want to check into this location. So it's really doing... And oh, it actually, there's actually tips here it's pulling in too, in case you wanted to look at some tips. So it's, it's really doing this sort of automate your life idea that Google Now does, but it's an entire launcher that sort of does it for you. It's really a cool concept. And again, it's a private alpha or private beta now, just updated to beta. But I suggest you give it a look. Um, you'll notice I'm hitting home and this is actually my home replacement. So Nova Launcher, this is covered up over top of that or Themer or Apex or whatever you're using these days, it would be a complete replacement. So you'd have to get used to, you know, stock icons and all that stuff. You can't sort of customize any of that. You can't customize wallpapers. This is sort of your only option is this giant picture to customize. So again, it's a, it's sort of a radical idea, but it's also a really cool idea. The app is buttery smooth. It works really well. And once you get it sort of set up for your spaces, you know, for home work and all that, it could be really, really powerful. So anyways, it's just been a first look at Aviate. I suggest you sign up for the beta. It's available in the Google Play Store and you can sign up that way. Uh, we'll have a link at the site as well. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If uh, you're willing to give up your custom of home screen setup for something like this that's a little more automated. Anyways, we're Droid Life. Peace.